he broke up with me. This all I got. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, which is last minute, I'm going to be making some chicken alfredo. I already seasoned my chicken thighs. No, these are not chicken thighs. Chicken breasts, they were thinly sliced. I already seasoned them, cooked them, and I got my pot of boiling water over here. I'm going to add some salt to my water. Always add salt to your pasta water. It brings out the flavor more. Okay, y'all, now I'm about to add my pasta to my boiling water. And the name of this pasta is Farfalli Pasta. It's like, it's like a bow tie pasta. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. use the whole bag and this the name of it for Sally to me this is the best pasta pasta I've used to make chicken alfredo and it looks like this like a little bow So now that I pour my pasta into the water, I'm going to let it boil for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay y'all, to this pasta, I'm going to add half a pint of heavy whipping cream. Add that. Which I might need to get my other one, I don't think that's enough. I'm going to add my chicken breast. So I went and got another half a pint. I don't think I'm going to use all of it, which I've been um, using some already. I don't think I'm going to use all of it. We're going to take it, mix it all together, and let it simmer for about five to six minutes. So I like to season my pasta after I um after I add the meat and the heavy whipping cream. I'ma add some total seasoning to it. Total seasoning. I'ma add a pinch of salt. If you're cooking pasta, it needs to be seasoned really well. We're going to add a pinch of pepper. So as you can tell, the heavy cream is starting to bubble up. We're going to mix it. Now if you want to, you can add milk. I like to add a little milk to it. Because I don't like dry pasta. So I'm going to mix it all together. So I'm going to let this cook for about five to six minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. Comment below if you use grated Parmesan cheese to make your chicken alfredo. I love it. Give it a quick stir. To me, the best way to make chicken alfredo is from scratch instead of out the jar. This is what I prefer. I never buy us the kind out the jar. Never. So I'm going to add some more milk because it's starting to thicken up. And 
I love for my chicken alfredo to be real, real saucy. And trust me, milk doesn't take away the flavor. Some more Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan cheese and garlic gives it that Alfredo taste. So you can't be stingy with the grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, it smells so good in here, and I haven't added the garlic yet. So I'm making this meal with lots and lots of love. A nice Valentine's Day meal, quick, easy, not expensive at all. So I just added the garlic to it. So y'all see how thick it is? All I'm gonna do is keep adding milk to thin it out. When you go to Olive Garden and places like that with pasta dishes, you end up paying about a good 12 bucks for a plate of chicken alfredo, if not more. And I paid $2.38 for a pack of thin um, chicken breasts. I paid $1.19 for the pasta. And I paid um, $1.89 for the heavy whipping cream. I paid 2 Two dollars and some change for the cheese, and this will feed about in my household about six people, so it's worth it. It's not expensive at all. Okay, now that I I mixed all that, I got some Italian style cheese that I'm gonna add in here. So we're just going to use all of that, pour it in there. Yeah, this smells so good. Hey, y'all, I got to give y'all a close-up look of this homemade chicken alfredo. Just look at that. Let's look. Y'all see it cooking right there? Oh, yeah. We're going to tear this up. If you watched my video yesterday, I did um, a grocery haul and I bought these Hawaiian rolls from Sam Club. With these rolls, I'm about to make some garlic, butter, rolls, homemade. So, okay, y'all. So, I got my Hawaiian rolls in the pan. I got my garlic butter right here. I'm just going to pour it, drizzle it on top. I probably overdid it, but oh, well. The more butter it, um... The more butter on there, the buttery there taste. Look at that. That looks so good. And I haven't even put it in the oven yet. Okay, y'all. This is the final look of our pasta. And here go the garlic butter rolls right here. We're about to enjoy or try to enjoy 
our last Valentine's Day meal together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on my next video. Bye, guys. Peace.